Hello fabulous friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bang Bang Von Lula. I'm a burlesque dancer, producer, and a beauty enthusiast. If you are a fan of vintage hair and makeup as well as beauty overall and burlesque and maybe even cats, please do subscribe to my channel. Every subscription gets me closer to my goal. This week's video is a makeup tutorial inspired by the 2016 movie The Love Witch. Looking at the makeup, it probably seems like this is more of a vintage look, which it certainly is based on. This movie is a retro-inspired horror film about a witch named Elaine and her passions about love. This whole look, including the hair and the makeup, is inspired by the main character, Elaine. Though she rocked various different looks, but usually with a similar hairstyle and different colored eyeshadow, this is probably the most recognizable look from the film. The movie is such a visual treat. It just combines so many fun themes like witchiness, burlesque, love, and just so much drama. It's a little bit campy, which I think is excellent, and it does capture that early 1970s B-horror vibe. Here are some clips from the movie so you can get a good idea of the look of Elaine as well as the aesthetic of the movie. It's so, so fun, and I definitely suggest you watch it. I believe it's available for streaming on Amazon Prime. I don't want to give away too many plot details, but essentially what it's about is a woman who is on the eternal search for love. I was so tickled to see that there was burlesque in this movie. In fact, I think that Elaine met her coven through dancing, and that's a fun little plot twist that I didn't expect, and it adds a little bit more to my love for the film, obviously. It's just so much fun. It's ridiculous and fun, and that's just who I am, I think, I hope, is that I'm ridiculous and fun, so I could not be more excited to recreate this look for you. I am especially excited for today's video because I was able to get my hands on a eyeshadow palette that's actually based on the movie from the company Vintage Doll Cosmetics. The packaging is obviously super cute on this. It has a caricature of Elaine on the cover, and the whole thing is just really well thought out and super beautiful. Here is a close-up of the palette, and it is entitled the Vintage Love Witch Technicolor Eyeshadow Palette. The color story of this palette is really fun. It's certainly based on the colors that Elaine wore in the film, and today I'm going to be concentrating on the blue shade. Here are all of the colors swatched on my clean, unprimed arm. You can definitely build these up, and when you put a primer underneath, the color pops even more. The palette also came with this adorable mini poster, and I do suggest checking out Vintage Doll Cosmetics if you love vintage-inspired makeup. So I really tried to recreate this look. So we're working with a half up, half down bouffant. I have the very pigmented blue eyeshadow and the soft pink lip. I am gonna categorize this as a Halloween look and as a vintage everyday look. I actually used the trick from my previous video, which is how to do a pop of color on hooded eyes. So if you'd like to see that, I'll link it in the description box. Well, I'll stop babbling on and let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Today I'm starting with my makeup partially completed, including my foundation and concealer, as well as finishing powder and bronzer for some light contour. This look would not be complete without a pink blush to really emulate the Love Witch. I also created this half up half down bouffant hairstyle and with one eye completed we're going to move over to the other eye and the lips. I've already applied ELF's Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer in Sheer and using the Revealed Matte Palette by Coastal Sense I'm taking a nude color and dusting it all over my lid. I'm using a slightly fluffy flat brush in order to distribute this color all the way from my lid to the brow bone. 
My next step is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Eyeshadow in Camelback. I'm using the technique of my previous video about applying a pop of color to hooded eyes, and I look down and up in order to distribute that wet liquid eyeshadow above my natural lid in order to map out the shape. I'm using my finger to pat out any creases that might have occurred in the liquid shadow before it sets. Now using a concealer brush, I'm going to perfect the line of the liquid shadow in order to get a more defined shape. Now I'm using Vintage Doll Cosmetics, the Vintage Love Witch 1960s Technicolor Palette and we're going to be using the blue color for the look today. Using a simple flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to begin packing on this color layer by layer. This formula starts off sheer and can be built up quite easily. I'm concentrating on the main lid area where I applied the liquid catsuit eyeshadow, and I'm gently diffusing the color at the top portion. Next, I'm going in with ColourPop's Blue Moon Eyeshadow Palette, and using the shade Lumi, I'm going to add a slight shimmer on top of the blue eyeshadow. Taking a small eyeshadow brush, I'm going to apply this color mostly on the center of the lid, but diffusing it out softly to the edges. Moving to eyeliner, I'm using the Balm's Schwing Liquid Eyeliner in black, and we're going to begin building a very sculpted, thick black cat eyeliner. It's important to work slowly but carefully in order to get the correct shape. You will notice in The Love Witch that she has quite a tall, rounded upper portion right above the center of the eye in order to give her that sultry look. After a gentle curl of the eyelashes, I'm going to use the waterproof Maybelline Colossal Lash Mascara in order to coat my lashes and prepare them for the false lash. Today's falsie is Salon Perfect Lash DNA Accentuating Lashes for Hooded and Almond Shaped Eyes. To accentuate the bottom lash line, I'm using Maybelline's Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner in black with a very sharp and precise eyelining brush. It's important that the line is clean and very thin, but also visible. Now going back in with the mascara, I'm going to apply a liberal amount to the bottom lashes. This is very much the look that she had in the movie, and in order to keep them looking tidy, I'm using a clean spoolie and just running it through, and possibly adding another layer if necessary. For lip liner today, I'm using Rimmel London's Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in East End Snob. I'm using this to perfect my natural lip line and make sure that the color does not seep beyond the natural edges. To get that perfect pink pout, I'm using Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Pink in the Afternoon. I find with this formula it's easiest to use it directly from the bullet, and after layering a couple of times, you can get a really great opacity and shine. If you wish, you can also blot this down for a matte finish. And here is the completed look. I've got the hairstyle, the makeup, the brooch, the gunny sack style dress, and everything just came together so nicely. I really like this as a vintage look and also as a Halloween look for the Love Witch. So that is it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you want to watch this movie. And if you do, drop a comment below and let me know what you think. I don't know that this movie is for everyone, but if you watch my channel, I think you would probably dig it. Um, but yeah, take a look on Amazon Prime and give it a watch and let me know what you think. 
We're getting closer and closer to Halloween, and I'm going to continue to roll out the Halloween-themed videos. I might even double up on one one week. We'll see if I can get my shit together, but that's how inspired I'm feeling. And thank you all for your support and your feedback, and I just am feeling good about this project, this YouTube adventure I'm doing, so thank you all so much. You are why I do it, and I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I put out a video every week, and as I said, I might be putting out some extras in the coming weeks, so make sure you also hit that bell at the bottom so you can be notified when I upload. Until next time, my beautiful friends, remember that the future is bright, and I will see you in my next video.